How's it going everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist and I'm coming to you here from my art studio to talk about, yes, talk about haters. Haters, those haters, ah, haters out there. <laughs> I got my Starbucks ready. Mm. I like it, I like it. Okay, so why this? I've been asked over and over, what do you do with haters? You know, people that are doing videos like me, people that are writing articles, people that are creating artwork and posting it on social media groups, uh, exhibiting. Haters are everywhere, right? There's not, it's, it's, it's not like there's so much of them, so many of them, it's that they're busy. They're so busy. <laughs> you can find them just about in every, every industry, in every place. Uh, hater, hate, hater is, 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 is a sneaky fellow, you know? They hide their name. They're like, ah. <laughs> so I wrote some notes here down about haters. Why? Again, I've been asked, what do you do with haters, man? I mean, I see you posting. People see me posting every day, two, three times a day, different stuff. You know, posting stuff, artwork, videos, and other people are doing the same thing, you know, in their, to, to their own comfort level or their own possibilities or abilities or whatever. And they told me, man, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of the haters because, because, uh, Someone writes really nasty stuff on my videos or blah, blah, blah. And so what do you do? How, how, do, I, how do I handle this? Very simple. Here we go. Okay, guys? Mm. I need another little sip of my Starbucks. Okay. So. <laughs> so bear with me, okay, guys? First, what is a hater? Okay, we have to recognize first. We have to understand what a hater is. We have to understand the psychology of the hater. Okay, <laughs> none of this is personal, guys. Okay, you will find out why. Why I'm why I'm talking about this. So, so what is a hater? Okay, a hater is someone who basically has given up on their dreams, on his or her dreams. Okay, you got to understand this. This is this is why you must not take it personal. You have to understand this part. A hater. I'm going to say it again. Is someone who has given up, given up uh, on his or her dreams. And now they're looking at you and what you're producing and they're upset. They're hating you for it. That's how a hater is born. You know, I don't, I, it, there's different types of hating, but it's all the same thing. If you narrow it down and you start squeezing it and you start getting the juice out of that, you find out that it's someone who gave up on their dreams. Who talks bad about rock stars? Someone who was probably at some point wanted to be a musician, you know, or was a musician, but, but a mediocre musician. Who talks about people that talk bad crap about my, my artwork? I know they're artists. Collectors don't talk like that about my artwork. Collectors love artwork. <laughs> and they love different type of artwork. And if they don't like it, they're just, you know, they won't say anything. But they, won't, they, won't, they don't go the extra mile. People that go the extra mile and actually say something and, and say negative criticism and this and that and, and, and actually go deeper, you know, they want to puncture you. They, they go deeper. It's, I know they're artists. I, I, I'm not fooled by this. I've been around. I've been around the block for, you know, for some time. I, I can spot a hater a mile away. <laughs> okay, so this is what you got to know, guys. Remember, a hater is someone who has given up on his or her dreams. And usually, okay, here's another thing. How do you spot one, right? You, you don't spot them like, oh, there's someone who gave up on their dreams. No, they're sneaky. They hide their face. They're like Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> the online trolls are even sneakier because, because they actually get to hide, right? Face-to-face -face haters. Uh, they, 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 they act as, uh, as they're, they're giving you constructive criticism. I will give you some constructive criticism on this piece or this frame or this or that or, you know. <laughs> so that's, that's how they do it, okay? So how do you spot them? Very, very simple. Okay. <laughs> this is how you spot them. They usually know, they usually know a lot about the subject. They're masters at it. They're masters at it. They just can't stand. They can't stand that you may not know as much as they do, but you're creating, you're producing more, whatever that is. Maybe you're a photographer who's actually doing gallery exhibits or, or, or local shows, or you sell on eBay like me, or maybe you do Etsy or whatever, whatever you do, you're producing right? You're, 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 now you've gotten out of your studio, out of your home, your comfort zone, 
and out of just sharing your little photos on Instagram, and now you're actually producing, creating artwork, and selling it. Many, many of you might be selling it as well. I, I sell my artwork, so, so if you can understand, I get, I get some haters for that. It's all right. <laughs> so I, that's how you spot them, right? They, they know a lot. They spend a lot of their time knowing stuff. Like, like not, it's not even knowing because they don't know. It's, it's consuming information. They consume a lot of information, so they act like they know a lot, but they really don't know because they haven't moved from the information consumption, right, from that stage, to taking the leap to actually doing something, getting shit done. They don't know how to get shit done. Haters, understand this, guys, okay? Haters do not know how to get shit done. So, so if you know less than they do, and you're actually, you're actually producing, oh my God, they're going to hate you for it. I gotta hate your guts. <laughs> okay? So, so now that I've told you, okay, what is a hater, right? Someone who's given up on their dreams. That, that's, that's all it is. That's really all it is. It's someone who's given up and, and, and they know a lot, right? Or they, 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 they tend to, to, to think they know a lot because they, they read articles and they're always, they're always they, they understand the isms, you know? That's like, that's romanticism. That's French Impressionism. That's... You know, cubism, uh, that's that, that, I know because uh, uh, they know a lot, right? We know them as snobs, right? A lot of people. But usually a lot of them are artists like you and me. And the thing that, that, that chops their... <laughs> what makes them upset is that is your production level. Now, they, now, here's where it gets tricky, okay? Because when you are producing, if you have a high production level, right? If you have a high production level, if you're creating artwork on a constant, you know, on a daily basis, or you're going into the studio and doing your thing and posting videos and showing up on, on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter, whatever you do, right? Or you're doing gallery exhibits, whatever, but people starting to know you, right? People start to like, hey, I know that guy. I've seen that guy before. Let me like his video. Bam. Let me subscribe. Bam. Right? When that starts happening, haters start sniffing. Someone's doing something. Someone's doing something. Someone who doesn't know, who's not well read as much as I am, is doing more than I am. So what is the job of the hater? The job of the hater only has one job, you guys, okay? I'm telling you this because this has been my experience and I want to share this kind of stuff with you because I know some of you get, get bummed out and they're like, oh, I'm the haters, you know? <laughs> and that stops you. But I'm here to tell you it's all smoke and it's all smoke and mirrors, you guys, okay? What is the job of the hater? Let me take another sip of my Starbucks. Mm. The job of the hater is only one. And one is only the job of the hater. I'm going to stop preaching. <laughs> the hater wants to stop you at all costs. He or she wants to stop you. You must. They almost, if they could beg you, they would be, please, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't create more artwork. Don't exhibit and, and they'll use anything and everything in order to make that happen, right? In order to make you stop. First, they want to slow you down. Because, because if, if they comment on something that you did or, or they give you constructive criticism, then now they, they know that you're going to look at that and they're going to rob you some of that energy. They're like vampires. Haters are like vampires. If vampires were real, they're, they're like vampires. They're like, I'm going to rob you some of that soul. And for five, ten minutes, or maybe, if you're not disciplined enough, a whole day or a whole week, I will rob you from your, from your productions, from your production level. And, 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 and at least I win for that, for that day. I win, if I'm a hater, right? Ugh. I win for that week. I rob you from production. And now I win. And I feel better because I made you stop. Why do they want to stop you? Why does a hater is committed? A hater is committed to stopping you. They can't just stop you, right? Because it's hard to stop you. They, they try to slow you down. Why are they committed to that? Because you're reminding them. You, 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 and I are reminding them of their mediocrity. Mediocrity? Mediocrity? Anyways, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think I made up a word now. Let <laughs> my pen memo. <laughs> you remind them that they're not doing enough. That they should be going into the studio and quit their shit. Stop it. 
and stop commenting and giving constructive, constructive criticism and talking bad stuff about you and bad stuff about your artwork. And they need to go into the studio and create artwork. But they don't have the cojones to do it. They haven't developed them yet. And who knows, maybe they never will because they're, they're putting the, all their energy in that. See, they've given up already. So their energy is now in trying to make sense. They're really trying to make sense. They're, they're, they have so much information. They have consumed. They know the best way to create artwork, right? They know the best techniques. They know, they know art history like no one else. They're so well-spoken. You will notice this. They're very well-spoken. They're intellectually capable. And, and, um, but but they, they don't produce. This is how you spot a hater. They either don't produce anything or produce very little. And they hide... They hide under the umbrella of perfectionism. You will always see haters hiding under the umbrella of perfectionism. They tell themselves and others, oh, I, I just, it's just, it has to look great, you know? And they, and, and they, they worry about little details. And that's, that's their game. Their game is because they, don't, they haven't developed the, the, the courage to go beyond the details and actually get in their artwork, even if they don't have the right frame, and putting, them, putting it in a gallery, or even if they don't have the right technique yet, right? And, and just, you know, sell it. Put it on eBay. Put it on Etsy. Put it on Craigslist. Shit, put it anywhere, you know? Offer it to your neighbor, to your family member. Who cares? But they, don't, they haven't developed that yet because they spend too much time reading and procrastinating, right? And they, 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 never, they never did. They never started doing, right? And they hate you for it. They can't stand you. They're, they go like this. Please, please, please stop. You're making me feel bad. See, I had the dream you had. I once had that dream. But I, I don't know. I never developed the strength to actually go after it. And you make me feel bad. That's what a hater really is saying inside. And, and, and I need to stop you because you remind me of my dream. And it hurts. And they will use anything and everything, okay, in order to do that. And they have a specific, a very special weapon, okay? That weapon is doubt. A hater's best favorite weapon is doubt. They will talk, they will use anything. They will use your ethnicity, they will use your, your religion, your faith, your race, your, your gender, your sexuality. They will use anything, anything and everything. They start with your artwork first because it's the easiest to spot. But a hater will start using anything in order to, to get you to stop, to slow you down, and to, and to they create a little hole, and then they put a, a seed of doubt. Now, if you're not disciplined, you will water that seed. And the hater, they have accomplished something. I made someone slow down, or I made someone stop. Hey, guys, I know better. <laughs> we say this in Mexico. Oh, you know, peel your eyes. Look out there. When you see a hater, don't get upset. Do not get upset. When you see a hater posting negative, negative crap on your, on your YouTube, I, I get some of those. Poor souls. You know, they, they, have no, they have no life. They're trying to explain themselves. People tell me, you can't speak English correct. Who cares? I paint. I paint, dude. I don't have to speak English. I, have to, I, I can paint. You know? People say, you don't you, you exercise, dude. You're too chubs. Dude, who cares? What does that have to do with my artwork? They see, all these things, right? Because they're trying to put doubt. And they start talking about all kinds of stuff. Or they're like, I'm just giving you my opinion. That's <laughs> I get a lot of those. I'm just giving you my opinion. Keep your opinion. You'll notice, uh, if you try to share your artwork with me, whether I like it or not, and this is not me being disingenuous. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Whether I like it or not, whether it's my cup of tea or not, whether uh, I feel like you have a, a good skill set, like a strong skill set, or you're barely starting, you will always hear me tell you, it's awesome. It's perfect. Keep going. Why? A hater will not do that. Why do I do that? Why do I tell you? Uh, when you when, those of you who have shared artwork with me, why do I tell you only positive stuff? Because you don't need negative stuff. You know, Someone who's producing is upbeat, upbeat. It's always, it's, it's, in, it's in a positive mindset. So if I'm producing and then someone shows me their production, my natural, my natural um, 
way of being, because I'm in, in this production mode, is awesome. Keep doing that, whatever that is. And, and, and it, it can only get better. See, a hater doesn't do that. A hater says, it's bad, and you're doing the wrong technique, and if you keep doing that, it's going to get worse. Hell no, it won't. Even if you're doing the wrong thing, if you keep practicing, sooner or later, you're going to start you know, molding that and making it work. So you will never hear me say stuff like that. It's always positive. It's always go for it. Go, go, go. Keep painting. I'm always telling you guys, go into the studio, keep painting. A hater will try to stop you and will put... Well, try to put the seed of doubt. What is the opposite of doubt? You can always spout a spot a hater because they're trying to put doubt in your production, in you, in yourself. Like I mentioned, in, in, they'll use anything, right? They'll use the painting. They'll be like uh, <laughs> the style. Uh, you can't speak English correctly. Where are you from? <laughs> what religion? are you? All that stuff. They'll use anything because, because they're begging you. This is their little crybabies. They're begging you. They're like, please stop. You make me feel bad. I want to, I want, one time, at one time, I wanted to be like you. But um, I'm just making sense of why I'm not. You always see, you always see this. The other day, I shared a, 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 a video, not here, but on, on Facebook. Of, um, of, I liked that video, and I shared it. Of, um, what's his name? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, he's an artist, right? And, and people are like, oh, I didn't know he's an artist. Blah, 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 right? Uh, before, before I shared, I was reading the comments, and I was surprised. Well, I wasn't surprised, but I was, but I was, uh, uh, I was appalled <laughs> of how much hate people put out there. You know, oh, he's an artist. Don't get it twisted. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, he's he's already famous. Of course, he's gonna do well. The galleries are gonna want him. It's like it's like all this negativity. Instead of looking at it, see, this is the way I looked at it. I saw Jim Carrey painting, and I was like. Oh, hell, man, that's awesome. That means there's a chance for me to do stuff like that. That means there's a possibility for me. That means that no matter where I go, let's say I'm not an artist right now and I'm an accountant, at some point, I can go to that. You know, at some point, I can go to that. Or, or maybe this guy's older and, you're, and, and, you know, and the positive way of seeing it is, hey, there's no age for it. What if I jump in right now when I'm 50 or 60 or 70, whatever? What if I jump in and I start producing artwork? See, all the, all the, all the positive stuff, you got to look for it. It's not, easy, it's not very visible if you're not, if you're not disciplined to see positive stuff. So here's a, let me, let me continue with, with, with the haters. <laughs> so, you know, they want to stop you, right? How do they do it with doubt, Okay. Their favorite, their favorite weapon is doubt. So here's an analogy I'm going to give you. This is something that I heard from a mentor, okay, about haters. And I thought it was spot on. So imagine that you're producing, right? In my case, I produce artwork. I produce paintings. So I'm always producing. I like the Picasso approach. I love to seize the day and produce as much as possible. And because of that, I get a lot of haters because they see me producing all the time. So let's say I see myself as a lion, right? I'm a lion in Africa. You know, I'm lying. And, and, and I see a juicy zebra. That juicy zebra is my goal, right? That's my goal. That's, that's, that's my production. That's my gallery exhibit. That's my, my, my artwork being out there. Whatever, right? It's a goal. I see a zebra. Boom. I lock, I lock my eyes on it because I'm a, I'm, I'm a lion. I see myself as a lion. I'm this hunter, right? I'm, I'm, I'm out to get my, my, my slice of pie or my whole cake. And... The hater is this little, I was going to say a jackrabbit, but no, it's a little rodent, it's like a little rat, a little rodent, pops up a hole, right? And the hater looks at you, looks at this big, badass, massive lion, you know, and, and, and scratches his head. It's like, how come I'm not that guy? You know, and, and they go and they try to, they, you know, they, 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 they try to, 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 to remove you from your goal. But you will notice a lion... A lion is not out to waste his time or her time, a lioness, with little rats and rodents. They go after the big meat. So if you're going after the big meat, after that zebra, you know, after that big meat, don't mind the little haters. They, they, you know, it's like I told you right now, you got to be happy. You got to be, you got to get a little smile when you get the hater. Why? They're assigned 
They're a sign that you're producing. Haters won't come to you unless you're producing, okay guys? Understand that. I know some of you have asked me, what do I do with it? Hey, don't do anything with it. Be cool with it. Now, this doesn't mean you have to take their crap, right? You can, you can block them or, or get them out of your, your, your YouTube uh, channel or page or your fan page or whatever. Or, you can, or if it's face-to-face, -face, you can be like, dude, keep your opinion. Cool. Keep your constructive criticism. I only need positive right now. Because they hide under that, right? And they're like, well, everybody needs criticism. No, guys. What you need is someone to tell you, go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep learning. Keep practicing. You're doing great. Keep moving forward. A hater will never do that. A hater wants to stop you. A hater wants you to, wants you to pay attention to the little details. Because that's what stopped them. They're like, oh man, I want to be an artist, but I don't have my style down yet, you know? So when they look at you, they talk about your style, and they talk about, well, that color right there doesn't go well with that color. Or they say, well, the frame is, it's not, you know, the frame is way too thick. Well, they it, start going around and around and around on mindless BS details. And what you want to do is go after that zebra and put your painting. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, put your painting in a gallery. Put your painting on Facebook. Put your, show, your, show yourself painting like me on YouTube. Get your stuff and put it on, 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 on Instagram or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What you want to do is that piece of meat. Mm, put it there. You, you want the zebra. You're not worried about the little details and the rodents and the, the little rats and the insects. You're a lion. You're after the big piece of meat. <laughs> I hope you guys like this so far. If you guys find it of value, subscribe to this channel. This channel's full cool stuff guys mm -hmm. so to conclude on this next time that you are uh, confronted or around or you see haters what do you do with them don't do anything like I mentioned it's, you don't have to take their shit you can you can unsubscribe them get them out but don't get upset because it's a sign that you are producing see this is from a uh, I told you a little bit from uh, Don Quixote, Don Quixote de la Mancha, the, the, the story of Cervantes. Uh, those of you who don't know it, those of you who know it, was cool. You guys already know it. This is for those of you who don't know it. Okay? Don Quixote and Sancho Panza were going on their, on, well, his horse and Sancho Panza, uh, a burro, or whatever, donkey, whatever he was riding, right? And they go through a town, and I'm giving you a loose, okay, a loose translation or explanation because I don't. I don't know, it's been a while since I, I read that, but I know the message. So they were writing right, Don Quixote and his sidekick, Sancho Panza. And Sancho hears dogs barking. Woof, woof, woof. Arrow. Those are all the haters. Ruff, ruff, ruff. They just bark. They don't do, they don't produce. And they produce very little, if they ever do. So they're like, ruff, 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 ruff. So Sancho Panza, right, not being the brave Don Quixote, because Don Quixote was like this, you know, he, he, was, he, was, he had a purpose, right? He was out to fight giants. Not, not fight with dogs, fight giants. So, so Don Quixote looks at Sancho Panza, right? Sancho Panza tells Don Quixote, the dogs are barking. What do we do? The dogs are barking. And Don Quixote replies to him, it's all right, my good sidekick. It means that we're moving forward. It means that we're riding. It's a sign that we're riding. It's a sign that we're moving forward. Every time you hear those, those dogs barking out there, your, 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 your English is not good enough. You know? You're a girl. Girls can't paint. You know? Or all that kind of BS. You know? that pe people do say stuff like this. I mean, come on. You know? or, or, or you're not ready to exhibit. You know? Have you thought about it? Or don't work too hard. Slow down. You know, pace yourself. Those are dogs barking. And you have to act like Don Quixote and go after the giants. Don't mind the dogs. It's a sign that you're moving forward. I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Till next time. Bye-bye.